Hi guys, it's Matt again, and uh, while I was on an impromptu shopping trip, I uh, just happened upon um, the Nerf Double Strike, um, which I already unboxed, I just did that for your sake. Um, it is a blaster. As usual, deco on one side only. Thanks, Hasbro. Um, shows the happy kid and tells you it gets two. Uh, there's some sort of schematic on the back. Nothing really of interest. Comes with two zombie strike green darts, and it's it's supposedly jolt esque, but it's more like the hammer shot. In the it's a hammering, it's a hammer firing pistol and it's quite a lot more powerful than the Jolt and it can be fired one handed. It's got reasonable amount of power considering its size. Um, it's actually very, very good. Um, I do have some minor issues with it. Um, the hammer action is perfect. And you can deprime it quite easily. It's it's brilliant. Um, the only problem is my my fingers. Only two of them really fit on the grip. The other one sort of hangs over. It's I'm I'm generally shoot left handed, and I can just about balance my little finger on there. So the grip is a little short. Um, but overall, power-wise, it's, it's impressive, and the Smart AR system in it's great. If you listen to the um, actual air release, uh, if I can do this properly, I don't know, you probably can't hear it hiss, but... That's a good air seal, straight off the shelf, that is a good air seal. Due to its width, it's got quite a wide plunger tube, so it'll have quite a, quite a big plunger tube. And I do believe that our friends in Germany, um, uh, uh, Blaster Parts DE, um, do a 12 kilo spring for this, and they do a variety of upgrades. It does come with one tactical rail, um, which I seem to be completely pointless. Um, if you want to fit a ridiculous optic on there, you have that option, which is about the same size as the gun and the blaster itself. A slightly less ridiculous optic, but still ridiculous nonetheless, is the red dot sight, which kind of doubles its actual height. Um, if you were bored, you could um, touch a bipod for some bipod based action um, and uh, I know a gangster for, for a double having a double grip on it would be because you can't really fire it gangster styly like that and that seems uncomfortable or ridiculous so yeah uh, it does have a tack rail which seems to serve little or no purpose whatsoever but I'm sure somebody will come up with a use for it. Um, overall, in my opinion, I love jolts and I do love small, some of the small blasters. Um, I've never owned a hammer shot, although I am bidding on one on eBay too, sorry, on eBay, um, which will all get upgraded. But now I know this is upgradable, it's definitely worth the effort. Um, it's got a very snappy, smooth trigger. The hammer itself is a smooth draw. Um, when fired, it fits, it fits quite well into the web of your hand there without the hammer protruding too much. So when it is cocked, it doesn't really interfere with your grip that much. So it's quite comfortable. Um, 
but after a paint job and probably some mods internal and externally these are just great to put in a pocket like a jolt or you've always got that extra second shot just in case so you don't have to quickly fumble around for darts to reload you can just bang bang two shots saves a lot of time saves reloading good as a last stand weapon if rather than a jolt um however much i love the jolts but there you go that's my overall view of the nerf zombie strike double strike and it gets a matter of proof driving i will definitely be using this and i have been using it quite a lot because i am left-handed as well so i will be well i am be so it'll be a lot easier for me to have pair of hammer shots as well if i can get a pair of these modded that'd be quite nice to have them as secondaries and have or tertiaries and have secondaries as hammer shots and then um probably the, my pair of ravens as um my primaries uh cqb but yeah there you go um if you enjoy the look of the double strike and my overall impression which is overall my impression um, if you feel like picking one up, I picked mine up from Asda in um, in the Midlands and they were trading those at the Superstore for I believe 9 or £10 which was not too bad, I felt I could justify that but because of the upgradeability it's definitely definitely worth it for the uh, the, the spring upgrades and for the overall cosmetic upgrades it's definitely worth picking up and i like it it's fun you will probably enjoy it if you're in the same mindset as i am so enjoy have fun take care of yourself look after each other and have fun guys <laughs>